go back at it again. Babalua Anu Shabazz Allah, Dr. Carbon, the medicine man of the Black Rose Nation. We're bringing that fertilizer so you can put your seeds in that fertile soil so you can grow that good tree and get that good fruit. That good fruit that comes from what we're speaking on this year, 2022 Black History Month, through for Canada, is what we need to be doing. It has already been done. So what we really need to do is to continue with the best that was left to us. The best that was left to us through our heroic contributions, through the heroic contributions, through others' heroic contributions, coming together and formulating that fertilizer, that mixture that is right for culture and nation building. Like the Madiba award-winning, lifetime achievement, Nelson Mandela reppin', culture-wearing Canadian black woman of change and progress, Rosemary Sadler. Rosemary Lee was always was pushing for Emancipation Day to become a national holiday, the celebration of the end of slavery, that long celebrated holiday which African Canadians has been doing for many and many eons, like Marcus Mosiah Garvey himself in Toronto in 38 during the big picnic the UNIA would always be putting on, always be putting on from the 20s to the 50s to celebrate Emancipation Day because we've already been doing it. Thank you, Rosemary. Her role contributions, Rosemary Sadler's, gave us time to reflect to celebrate, to level up on us, on a part of angelically being us and uh, understanding us. Through Emancipation Day, Kwanzaa, Black History Month, to name a few. Salute, Rosemary Sadler. Black History Month came, and in 1995, the House of Commons officially recognized it and introduced the first African-Canadian woman elected to Parliament, the Honorable Jean Augustine. Salute, Jean Augustine. MBCC, I ain't talking about community college. Boy, do your homework, dig deep. Now, also, Senator Don Oliver, another heroic black man appointed to the Senate, who introduced a motion to recognize the contribution of black Canadians in February, as well as Black History Month. Don Oliver, the Black History Month in Canada has, Don Oliver has said, has stated, that Black History Month in Canada has had some great powerful successes and intrinsic value of black contributions in science, business, education, music, sport, public policy throughout the nation. But unhappily, we still need to be because in virtually every branch of the corridors of power in Canada, blacks are explicitly excluded and often completely absent because some of our covert principles of equality, fair play and inclusion have been supplanted by the white majority and often subsisted by overt racism. Brother Don speaking truth to power, man. Powerful words. This is right. Pay attention, you. Pay attention, elders. Pay attention, everybody. Brother Dom is saying, I invite you to look at the lack of diversity in the upper echelons, like the armed forces, like the superior courts, like the financial institutions, the chancellors, the presidents, the vice presidents, the deans, our senior bureaucrats in Ottawa and the provinces. Why is he doing work? Why is Dom putting in this work? He says, I work because I'm still here. And since I'm still here, I want to use my brain for as long as I can. That is a slogan we need to put in our souls. The day of tokenism are over. Brother Don Oliver, speaking truth to power. Salute Don on CBC the other night. Check it out. Check it out. Now we'll be speaking on things like Marcus Mosiah Garvey, Toronto, Canada. Oh yeah. Rosemary Sadler, salute. Jean Augustine, salute. Don Oliver, salute. Canadians cool gang who helped to bring us to a more reason to celebrate these good times through holidays. We fight the fight. And we also have the time to celebrate the wins. Now, Brother Don Oliver, bring a little information. Another farmer, Brother Farmer, Christmas trees. I don't know if you can see out here. We got some Christmas trees growing over here in the property where we're at, the Black Rose Nation. The Christmas tree. But ain't that a white holiday? Man, December 21st, the winter solstice is the holiday of every nation on the earth. If you follow anything astrological, which people of the sun, people of the universe are, the Christmas tree, yes, it has its ties to many different cultures. Now, what about black? I'll tell you that it is a Christmas tree, not called the Christmas tree, but we'll use it for this in this year video. Christmas trees in Egypt, in Kemet, in the pyramids, in the days of ancient past. And what did the Christmas tree represent? Why was there levels of branches working its way up to a star on top? Well, I will be telling you that they had seven level of branches representing the seven dimensions, the dimensions of which we were living in. We have length, width, and depth. 
we have the earth spinning around on its axis. We have the earth spinning around the sun. We have the earth and the sun spinning around our galactic universe. And then on top of that, at the center of our galactic universe, that black hole is a star, and that is the Sirius star. That is the star you put on the top of your quote-unquote Christmas tree. Data back. Your powwows, your celebrations on these solstices and equinox are cultural, ancestral, indigenous holidays and celebrations which every nation uses in different types of ways, you or whatever it may be. But I'm telling you, this Christmas tree, that Christmas tree, this Christmas tree, Brother Don Oliver, we've been doing something for the black culture. Whether you know it or not, these are the seeds that are planting, the grazing, the growing, the good tree or the good fruit. So I salute. Because what this thing is providing for all of us is that full cipher to come around. That arm, leg, leg, arm, and supreme head. To go from the foundation to the essence, the manifestation of the knowledge, the way to express it, to be born into existence, to give a clear mental picture so we can be equipped with the insight and the eyesight to have a composite of principles and values which are sacred. So we can use this as force and influence. So all have access to this truth and all have access to power in the best interest of the whole. True knowledge to show our children that we are the conduits of this God to add on to life, to take that which is untrue and add light, man or woman, and to bring into existence life. I salute Canadians, Canada, school and the gang, and all those putting in work, the ancestors living in past. Salute Ashe Hotep. Babalu Ainu Shabazz Allah, Dr. Carbon, the saying like, comment, subscribe, and share. Building the nation. Undrip, do your research.